What's up guys? So this is how to solve the first layer of the Rubik's Cube. Okay, I'm going to start with the white side as my first layer. And the first goal is to make a plus sign right here with the side color matching the color above it. Okay, so let's find a piece we can put in the right spot. So here's one. Here's a great example. This piece is in the correct spot but it's twisted. Like I said, we want a plus sign, so white to white, and want this green side to touch the green. So how are we going to fix that one? Well, to fix it, we need to get it out of the bottom layer and be able to manipulate it. And well, why not take advantage of a good situation? So here is a white and blue one, okay? By moving this piece out of the bottom layer to fix it, we can actually put one in the bottom layer. You see that? So that's pretty good, the fact that we have the beginning of our plus sign. But this blue piece, uh, if you look right here, is in the wrong position. We want it to line up with the blue. There's the blue, here's the white. That is now in the right spot. So let's go back to that green one we had. Now if I just put this into the bottom layer, okay, it's a good thing that's in the bottom layer, but if we see here, it's next to the blue, and that's not where it's supposed to be. Okay, it can't be next to the blue, so let's let's redu re go backwards one step. We're right here, so what can we do to make this green one, when we go down, be in the right spot? Well, here's green. Where's blue? Blue's on the exact opposite side. Okay, so when I rotate this down, it goes right here. Well, then let's just move this white and blue piece to where when we rotate the green one down, they're opposite, because we know blue and green are opposite. So now there's the green, there's the blue. When I fix one or the other, okay, when we go look, here's the blue and the white. When we go look, sure enough, there's green, there's the white. We're good to go. So let's go find the other two pieces. There they are, they're on the same side. All right, well, this is a similar situation. Here's the orange. We know we can put it down like this, but we don't want to mess up the blue, okay? So let's look where the orange goes. The orange goes on this side of the blue. So here's our orange. We know it's going to rotate to right here, and we want it to be on this side of this piece. So let's move him over. Therefore, when we put that orange piece down and fix it, there you go. They line up. Perfect. All right, we got one more. One more piece. All right. If we just rotate it down, it, it doesn't line up. We've, we've seen this before, so I just put it back. So now we have a choice. We can either move it to the left or to the right, and it really doesn't matter. If we move it to this side, when we go down, it goes this way. If we put it on the other side, over here, it'll go on this side when we go down. Okay? So let's just go that way. Okay. This is where it started from. We'll put it in that next layer, right here. Look down, we want it to go right here. Well, if we do that right now, it doesn't work. So let's make it to where it doesn't mess anything up when we put it down. So when we go down, it looks like it's out of place, but when we line it up, we have a plus sign, which was our goal. These line up, these line up, these line up, and these line up. That is perfect. That is what we wanted. All right, that is the first step to solving the bottom layer. So let's go ahead and go to the next uh, next pieces to the, the bottom layer. All right, the way I see this is I like pieces that look like this. They're on in the top layer when I'm holding it, and the white piece is on one of the two sides, not on top. I don't like this piece right now. We're gonna make it to where I do like it later, but this piece is a good piece. This is another piece that we're not happy with right now, but let's work with the piece we are happy with green and orange. Let's find green and orange. Green, orange, and that's my piece back here, okay? In order to solve the next, to put it in the corner piece, the way I operate is put the piece you want over the corner you want it, okay? So orange and green is gonna go over the orange and green corner. Perfect. It is now over the corner I want it to be in. That's where I want it, okay? This is just a little thing that I do to think of how this operates, I think of this piece as like a train, okay? And the white 
piece is the front of the train. Really, whatever piece you're solving, I'm solving white right now. If I was solving blue, I'd say blue, but right now, because I'm solving white, white is the front of the train. The train is over the piece I want it to be in. The train goes forward. I bring the corner up that I want it to be in. I bring the train back, and I put it down into its place. There it is. It is now in the correct spot in the correct orientation. All right. Let's do another one. Now, there's not another nice one in the top layer, so let's make one. Here's a piece right here, okay? He is actually over the corner I want him to be, but I can't operate with him this way. So we need to rotate him, and the way we do that is to flip this side up so he's still in the top layer, and then twist him out of the way. So let me, let me show you an example. This piece, I'm going to, I can go either way. I'm going to go this way. So now he's still in the top layer, and I'm not messing anything up because this is the corner I wanted him in, and now I can rotate this as much as I want. Okay? And by rotating it, I'm not messing anything up, but when I rotate it, I want to make sure he is, one, not where he started from, and two, not in the corner I want him to be in. Because if I fix my plus sign right now, he's in the bottom layer, and I don't like that. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to pick a different corner so that whenever I rotate this back down I now have a happy piece to work with okay look at that it's a white piece on the top layer facing either left or right in this case it's facing the opposite way from earlier the same rule let's put this corner over the corner we want to solve so here's blue and red blue and red here's white there's the white the train goes forward you bring the corner up the train goes back and fix your plus sign Fixed my plus sign, and sure enough, he dropped into the right spot. Excellent. Let's go next one. Here's another good corner. Blue and orange. So I put the blue and orange piece over the corner I want it to be in. It looks good. The train goes forward. I bring the corner up I want it to be in. The train goes back, and I fix my plus sign on bottom, and he is in the right spot. All right, one more right here. Where is it? Uh-oh. It's another unhappy corner. But we already know how to do this. Let's go the other way this time. Same, same thing as before. I'm going to rotate that face. And now I'm going to rotate that piece either here or here. Why? Because I need to move him out of this spot. And I don't want to put him here because when I fix my plus sign, he's going to go to the bottom layer. So I'm just going to rotate it this way one. He's right here now. So when I fix my plus sign, he's still in the top layer. Okay? And the reason I say put him over the corner you want to solve him in because if you put him over a corner that's already solved when you rotate and move you mess up your corner you see that now that corner's messed up we don't want that so always have him over the corner you want to solve go up get him out of the way put it back down and then when you bring him back he's in a, a position that you can work with so the train goes forward bring that corner piece up you want him in train goes back and fix your Fix your plus sign. That's it. That is how you solve the first layer. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below, share, like the video, and I hope this helps. The second layer is coming soon.